in many instances, well documented scientifically, in the hours or moments before death, people who have otherwise have been incapable of opening their eyes, in some cases for very long periods of time, will suddenly come back. And they'll be exactly the person that they were before the disease or the accident or something or whatever exactly happened to them. And what they're typically doing in these instances is they're saying goodbye and oftentimes talking to people who otherwise people can't be seen by, by the others in the room. Maybe you've done something over the years and now you're better at it. Maybe you had a bad habit and now that bad habit is one that you've conquered. Maybe it, was a, maybe it was a problem with drinking too much, or maybe it was a problem with eating too much, or maybe it was a problem with being irritable and being mean-spirited. But now you're not that way. You've changed, you've gotten better. And one materialist answer could be, well, the brain holds itself in time and space and is constantly generating the self, projecting the self into the future and project, pulling itself from the past into the present to create a person. And that, that's just a fixture of the brain. It's just a brain capacity that we have. I had a moral principle. And my moral principle was that every time I tell a promise, I'm going to intend to break it. That that's the principle I'm going to use with regards to promise keeping. So to, what Immanuel Kant would say is, OK, is that, a, is that a good principle or a bad principle? Is, is it right or wrong? Universalize it. Well, what would it be like if every single person acted according to the same principle that you're acting towards. And using this process of just looking at the necessary structure of reality, uh, not a reality, sorry, of the mind, he thinks that we can ultimately get to what he calls the categorical imperative. And all that means is that every time we act, he says, in order to be rational, in order to recognize how our mind functions, we have to treat every single person with whom we are acting as if they are also capable of doing the same thing that we're capable of doing in terms of identifying universal laws. The language he puts it in is you treat everybody as an end and not only as a means.